Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Icewind Dale 2. And yes, yes, it's been a while since I've posted anything. Scheduling happens. I'm going to get back into this game. We are picking up right outside of the Illithid Lair with an ambush that I remember putting off last time. Um, about the only thing I've changed since I walked out of it last time, aside from, you know, missing the start, is I went ahead and identified some items. Now, one of the items I identified is this shield, the small shield of invisibility, which is a small shield plus one, that lets you use the invisibility spell once per day. That can be useful. She's currently using Footman's Folly, which is, I believe, a shield plus one, small shield plus one. I, th I think it's a exactly... No, this one is... This one's a small shield plus one. This one gives you less of an arcane failure, so I'm going to actually use that. Okay. And I think Clow is charmed. No, he is stunned. Okay. So right off the bat, I started at a disadvantage. Let's let's start this kind of tactically and see how I do. I've got uh, an earth elemental. I'm assuming they're all earth elementals over here. Uh, these are a bunch of harpies. And three casters that vanished on me. So what I'm going to do is since Clow is gone, or Clow is useless right now, I'm going to move Charity over here to engage these Earth Elementals. Yes. I'm going to use something on Faith. I don't know yet. I'm probably going to go ahead and conjure myself a Fire Elemental over here. Yes. Try and even the odds a little bit. And I will try to do a Spider Spawn down here. Mm -hmm. uh, my rogue is just going to attack the nearest Sounds harpy. Yes. And my bard is going to actually get something done by casting... Um, what do I have? Do I have hold monster? Yes, I do. Into this group over here. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's unpause things and see how the first round actually goes. Oh, there's a caster. Alright, Clow is just taking some damage during that round. Um, and did he get dis did he get disrupted? Maria got disrupted, Maria is stunned. Uh, aside from that. Alright, Marcus did not actually get his spell disrupted, so he did cast his spell successfully. What is it you require? So after casting I that see. spell, I'm going to move over there. Okay. So now this is a bit of a uh, of a problem. Now my sword spider got stunned and panicked. How can I help? I'm ready. Yeah. At um, your service. I'm going to be able to cast something with. Uh, with Marcus again. I don't see... Yeah, I see the sword spider he summoned. Marcus is going to attempt to summon... Or no, he's going to attempt to drop an acid fog over here. Alright. So, one of the harpies just got stunned. Probably by the only, by my own harpy attacks. This fire elemental is going to attack this one. You just tell me and then me. I can cast an AC buff on everybody. Meanwhile, Maria had her spell disrupted, and she is still panicked. Okay. Okay, Faith cast her second spell. Alright, I'm going to have to cast another spell. This time we will try to cast blindness on this caster over here. Alright, that is... Okay. Spell got cast. Got acid fog up. Ready and I'm still trying to hack away at things. Very well. Hmm. Huh? I'm going to try and eliminate these harpies as soon as I can. 
That Earth Elemental is almost dead. Ready. I am ready. Hmm. What? Bard is still stunned. Can I help? You have my attention. Mm -hmm. Sure. I await instructions. I think Marcus just finished another spell. So then I'm going to cast yet another spell. And get um Let's see, is this hitting this one? Barely injured, so it is hitting her. I'm gonna go with uh with summoning another elemental. This time from Marcus. Alright, Mirabelle uh, was unaffected by blindness. So let's try nothing. Nothing, because she can't do anything. Let's try uh what can we try? Let's try... I want to say Flame Strike. Let's try an AE Heal. Just to get things underway. Okay, one Elemental down. Let's go after... this Harpy. Okay, another harpy Tell down. This time, this. Charity's harpy. Indeed. Now let's deal with this other harpy. The more harpies I can take down, the faster my people will become unstunned. Okay, uh, Earth Elemental just attacked Marcus. Was that one that he just summoned? Yes. Marcus did indeed cast a spell and immediately got what is it you an Earth Elemental on him. Okay, well, tell you what. Let's try and grab... Let's try and drop a cloud kill spell over here. Okay, one harpy is down. Done. Huh? Yeah. Let's get... Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, there's Marcus down. Damn it, I think that was actually one he summoned. Okay. And there goes my, my freaking uh, More work to be done. healing spell. I'm going to try to raise dead on Marcus. And everybody is stunned, except for Charity and my Rogue. Rogue is going to switch to Mirabelle. I'm losing everybody. Alright, one Harpy down. Let's try... Another mass healing. I think I'm out of range of everybody. Damn it. What? Good. Yeah, this is not great. This is very, very much not great. Cloud's going down. I can't do anything because he's stunned. Ready. There we go. Now he's unstunned. Drink a potion immediately. Here. Ready. All right. Can we get some sort of AE heal on the bard? Yes, we can. Orders. And Clow is going to immediately I'm on it. go after this harpy. I think Charity's going to go down pretty quick. Clow is like almost dead here. Okay, what was that heal from? Which one was that heal? That was Maria's heal. I'm listening. So Maria's immediately going to cast another heal, I hope. Oh no, she can't. She can't. Uh I guess she can kind of. There we go. You just tell me what you need. And uh Xylos is stunned. Mm-hmm. What's up? Okay. What can I do? And so is Cloud. And my people are starting to fall. So that did go over well. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let things die. I need to figure out... I basically need to get some sort of anti-stun material there. So, uh, give me a second and I will, uh, try this again. Alright, I went ahead and pre-buffed. We're gonna try this again. I've tried this, like, a couple times by now. Keep getting owned. My only problem with the pre-buffs is this part right here. This part right here just takes for freaking ever. And I'm like, come on, my people could do anything while these people chat. They're not even starting to chat yet. And of course my buffs are going to wear off while they do it. Because of course. But it was worth a shot. Now some of those buffs are a little bit longer lasting, so they may last throughout. Come on, just attack me. It's like at this point I would just be like, come on, do it. Like, just don't let him monologue, just roll over him. Now, I've done pre-buffs. I got my bard song up against sonic attacks. I'm going to hope that helps with the, with the harpy saves. Not sure if it will, but maybe. Alright, so come on. Start my combat. And immediately pause. I'm going to get Cloud right here Done. to soak up attacks. How can I I'm going to get Charity right here. I'm going to get McCleric to summon uh, to summon a fire elemental. I'm going to do it right here. I am and ready. I'm going to get my bard. Now? Even though I've got the bard song up, I'm going to get my bard to cast Power Word Silence over here on Mirabelle. You have my and then I will also have my uh, my wizard here cast Animate Dead right here to give them something to attack. Alright, so everybody got their stuff gone? Oh, I'm going to get my paladin to also cast Protection from Evil on herself. Let's do this. Alright, Charity is protected. Alright. Clow is stunned. Clow can't resist a stun for the life of him. I see. Yeah. Alright, my rogue's gonna start attacking the harpy. He's gonna pick it start picking him off down uh, starting to heal. Alright, so Maria has cast a spell and Mirabil was silenced. What? Yes. So now Mar now uh, my bard can start casting another spell. And she will cast um, hold monster on this harpy down here. Yes. Alright. So now Faith has cast a spell. Yes. And she's summoned an elemental. So what she will do now is get everybody AC buffed. Whoops. No. Get everybody AC buffed. Here we go. And her... Her... Elemental here is going to attack another Harpy. And now Marcus has cast his spell. What is it you require? And then he will go immediately go into another spell and drop. Um, let's see what's down here. Okay, nothing happened there. I will drop a uh, Acid Fog. Um, over here. Also, Faith has just cast her spell, right? Marcus, yeah, Marcus had already cast his spell. Faith has cast another spell. I'm already going to start casting, like, my Cure Wounds. Alright, my zombie lord is just going to attack this elemental. Alright, Marcus has cast his next spell. What is this? It's another harpy. I don't necessarily think I need it, but... Uh, what I will do is... Uh, drop a haste on Charity. Because Charity right now is... Um, like my main my main damage dealer here. Okay, one of the harpies just died. Let's get on another one. 
Okay. And one harpy was held. Nice. I don't know which one was held. Maybe this one? Who knows? All right. Okay, so another harpy down. Was that the same one? Yeah. This elemental is just chewing through these harpies, which is as it should be. Let's attack this harpy up here. By your side. And this elemental is almost done. Okay, Charity is hasted and Marcus has cast mm -hmm. another spell. So having that said, we'll, I'm going to drop a spider over here for Mirabelle to deal with. Okay, some Earth Elemental got stunned by the harpy's stuff. Okay, I think my AE heal just went off. Did Faith cast a spell just now? Well, somebody's spell landed. Yeah, Faith's spell just landed. So Faith's ready to cast another spell. And she will cast... Um... We will go ahead and cast... Uh... I don't know. None of those. What is Sunbeam? I don't, no, I'm not going to do Sunbeam. I'm going to do Firestorm over here. Cloud is still stunned. Marcus just cast his spell. I am ready. And, um... I guess that's good for now, although he's going to probably want to cast, uh... uh I'm going to drop, like, a Chromatic Orb on Mirabelle, because she is silenced. Yes. And my bard is going to go ahead and drop a heal, a decent heal on Clow. Faith has cast her spell. And there goes... There goes Sword... Well, wait. Sword Spider is still up. My Sword Spider is still up. Let's cast an AE here. Sword Spider is going to go after this Harpy. Okay. Uh, another Harpy down. Ready. Stuff dying faster than I can I can switch targets going much better this time. Alright, another elef earth elemental down. How can I help? As you wish. Uh charity's target is gone. Good. Switch to this next earth elemental. Zombie Lord's target is gone because it was the same elemental. Alright. I'm gonna send these these spiders over here. Alright. Oh, so one sword spider died to my own spells, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and quick heal Quick Heal Cloud. Come on, heal. There we go. Ready? And I will do a lay on hands on Cloud. Huh. More work to be done. Before doing a proper healing spell on Cloud. I wait he is soaking up so much damage right now, and that's unfortunate because mm. Good. he's still held. Here. Oh, now okay. he can move. Here I come. And I have him drink a potion. With me. All right. I'm going to get my Bard Song back up at this point, do armor and regeneration bonuses. Tell me your needs. And in fact, everybody but the Bard and uh, my healer are going to start focus firing on these individual Harpies. Ah, now here's, here's a caster coming up. Let's clear up these before that caster can start doing stuff.
Not too bad. Now my fire elemental broke free. Yes. And um I'm gonna try and heal myself. What's up? Okay, come on. Take it down. Alright, how many of these are left? I can barely tell. I got one fire elemental barely injured, one earth elemental badly wounded. I am by your side. What is it now? So let's focus on this earth elemental because it's badly wounded. And Faith will try to heal herself again. This time with a proper heal spell. There we go. Boom! Okay. Now she can get back in the fight. I'm here. Sure. The bard's gonna back up a little bit. Yes. Alright, just gotta take care of my own fire elemental. And at some point there's a wizard around there that I need to take down. That was so much better. Except for the fact that I'm now dealing with my own fire elemental. I need help. You just tell me what you need. Just go ahead and heal yourself with another heal. Boom. I am here. Alright, that fire elemental is about dead. Alright, fire elemental's down, so the only thing left is Marjish. Who goes down real quick once the entire buffed party gets on him? All right, that was that was very, very intense. That worked though. Let's go ahead and quick save and see what see what items we got here. We got uh, money and four magic items. We have a cloak of uh, Mistra, which gives you damage resist resistance, for damage reduction five plus one. Anybody not have a cloak? Who can use this? Um, wizards can. Do I have a cloak? No, I don't have a cloak. Poof. All right, then. Uh, oh, this is an old shield. Yeah, hold on. This ring is a ring of acid resistance. Uh, anybody not got a ring? I'm going to put on faith. Um, what's this? This is a ice pick plus one. That's a dagger plus one plus one d6 pull. Not super useful, but we'll take it just in case. Uh, next is um, these bracers. What are these bracers? These are bracers of defense plus four. What do I have? I currently have the Bracers of the Icelandic Pearl, which is plus four. Can they go on anybody else? What is his Bracers? Those are Bracers of Archery. What are her Bracers? These are not helping anybody. I can sell those. And this shield is from a prior thing. I think I've already identified it, but I didn't identify it. And this run is a small shield invisibility plus one, which is actually an overall upgrade from a bard. Alright, so let's go down here, since that was How everything there. Oh no! A, a harpy that. A couple of harpies that completely escaped everything. Yeah, this is quick. Rest in peace, harpies. Okay. So let's loot the next one. Money, and again, three objects, or four objects. We have Staff of the Defender plus one, which is, um, I don't want to say it's an upgrade, but I'm going to equip it anyway. Then we got this necklace, which is uh, Mirabelle's Pendant, Knowledge Arcana plus three. I don't think it matters. What's his current pendant? Uh... Here, give it to you. We got robes. These robes are adventurer's robes. That's BS. And then we got more bracers. These bracers are bracers plus three. 
All right, well, didn't get many. Of, I think we got like one thing that's useful, but that's cool. Tell me your needs. One thing useful is better than no thing is useful. So let's talk to the gnome. Ah, oh, it's you. I thought those harpies would be the death of me. Isolor sent me to, oh, this. I mean, uh, she, uh, this is my niece, Merrily. Hello, narrator. My head won't fit in the root jar. <laughs> yes, Merrily, that's very interesting. I told her that her head was too small for her age. Now she tries to fit her head in every. Well, maybe you should have told her her head was too small for her age. In any event, as I was saying, uh. Isalor sent me the Archdruid. I mean, Isalor didn't send me the Archdruid. Isalor is the Archdruid, and he sent me here. Ooh. So, all aboard? Okay. Uh, why is Merely here? She's very small. Small? Oh, why, yes, she <laughs> is. And that's why I had to move her. The Yon T oh, started no. attacking Kaldahar, Yon and T I versus moved the villagers Kaldahar. to Tagos. I couldn't leave little Merrily there, though. How did you know we were here? Oh, Isalor told me. He used the power of the Hearthstone Gem to find you. I came here as soon as I was done moving the villagers, hoping you would find your way out. All right, so what's happening in the Ten Towns? Things have settled down, more or less. There are still a few goblins hiding under rocks in the plains, of course, but nothing the Ten Towns can't deal with. All this over an insult. An insult? What, what, what insult? Oh, really? yes. You haven't heard? The Legion sent envoys to the Ten Towns months ago. The whole reason this is happening is because the mayor of Brinshander somehow insulted Isaire and Madame. Oh, really? Really? All right. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna go ahead and go to to Koldahar. I should take a look. I should take a look at his potions and sell stuff. Actually, uh, I'm gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna basically sell stuff that I do not need, and then we'll continue onward. All right. I've sold not everything, oh, but a fair amount of are. stuff. So are you ready to yeah. Go let us. Uh, no. Who is Islor? You know, I never asked that the first time around. The Archdruid of Kaldahar. I should have known, but yeah. replaced Arendelle almost um, 30 years ago. Same time all that other nonsense happened. Really? And what other nonsense are you talking about? Oh, well, I suppose it's not common knowledge, but 30 years ago, two demons appeared in Icewind Dale. They caused all sorts of trouble. All sorts of trouble? Not just a little sorts of trouble. One of the demons... Belhifet killed our archdruid Arendelle to prevent a band of adventurers from using the Hearthstone Gem to divine his army's location. Really, now? I remember the that. The adventurers eventually defeated the demons and returned the Hearthstone Gem back to Kuldahar. But it wasn't until almost a year later That's a recap that of the first game. arrived to replace Arendelle. So yeah, let's go to Kaldahar, all Excellent. Oswald. Just let me adjust a few things here, and merrily get into the restraining jacket and put your helmet on. The other way around. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So we go onward to the next area. That was a rough fight. I, I gotta admit, that was a really rough fight. At long last, my uncle brought the adventurers to Kaldahar. I wish they had seen our village in happier times. This is where I'm... the Legion was no more. After all, Kaldahar and her enemies had all been reconciled. What they came into was a barren village. Its citizens driven out for fear of death or worse at the hands of the Yanti and their allies, the Legion of the Chimera. I remember brief periods of my childhood, traveling with Uncle Oswald in his airship, sitting on the knee of Isalor as he told us how the flowers grow. But I remember nothing more vividly, with more palpable reality, than the sight of the great oak's roots hacked from their mother trunk. To this day, when I am ill, I sometimes see those bleeding stumps in my fever. The pain exceeds the illness threefold. No man, woman, or child raised in Kaldahar during that time can forget what they saw when we returned to our village. Victory meant nothing to us. Okay, yeah, I'm trying not to speak through these, but I've already had issues with, uh, with, with these cutscenes before. So, um, 
Yeah. So heading off to Kaldahar. There. That wasn't so bad, was it? Not bad at all. I don't have any bumps on my head this time. Oh, good, good, nearly. Oh, be quiet, you. <laughs> and while I'm talking to the nice adventurers, I better not catch you licking the potion bowls again. It's going to get you into trouble someday. All right, we'll ask him why it's uh, why it's so warm here. Because the of the tree. The yeah. oak makes the village under its branches warm year round. Since the hot stone gem was returned, the circle of warmth has grown into a bigger circle. With a larger diameter, that is. Thank you, Oswald. In case that was not obvious, okay. Um, so how do we get how do we get from this to the severed hand from here? Well, you could take the paths down to the fields of slaughter, but the Legion of the Chimera has destroyed most of the trails. Mm. Isalor will know what so to do. So I got to talk to Isalor. You can find him to the east, past the bridge and the mill. So how did? How did Merrily come to live in Kaldahar? She didn't always live with me, no. Merrily was separated from my brother and his wife when goblins oh, attacked their village. We haven't heard from them in five that's years. That's really sad. I'm more than happy to take care of her, though. So what is that leveled building to the north? That? That's where Mother Egania raised his heir and Madei. She's still buried there, but the villagers burned the house down. So who is Mother Egania? She, well, she, I'm sorry, I could tell you, but I think Isalor would be more helpful than I. Okay. What happened with Egenia So basically leaving it to, to Isalor, the entire thing. Even to the twins' mother is a sad tale. So what's that big tower in the middle of the clearing? It's a watchtower. It used to be <laughs> a grain tower, but Isalor and Jermsey thought it would be best if it were turned into a watchtower. All right, and who is Jermsey? He's a sour grape. His parents were killed by orcs when he was a child during the troubles in the valley. Now he's the captain of the town watch. That's the kind of t and he has a thorn in his heart. That's the kind of captain you want for your watch. Anyway, bye, Oswald. And who is this? So at last you've returned. My patience now that my master is almost at an end. Who's that? He's awful big and snooty. Come with me into the airship now. Go on. Go on, gnomes. We can handle this. Although, they put my freaking casters in the rear. The gnome was has nowhere to run, just as you have nowhere to run. Beg, if you will. But in the end, you will die just call, as Kaldahar will die. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Hyphorus, Hand of Bane. The valley belongs to the Legion of the Chimera. All lives within it are ours to do with as we please. Those fools in the watch tower, they are dead already, and that druid but Isalor will all will serve the Chimera in death. So the Legion doesn't hold cold heart yet? Your conquest is far complete than complete far is far from complete unless you wage war only with words. Time and death favor us, dog. We have killed many of them already, and only a handful remain, hiding behind walls like frightened children. I've always already turned their slain and the bodies of their ancestors against them. They will fall. Cold Har will burn, and its works will be cast down at the feet of the Chimera. As for the half-breed druid, we, he cannot ignore me forever. I will draw him away from his precious heartstone gem, then tear his heart from his chest. Islor ignores ignores you? Must You must pose a great, grave threat to him indeed. The coward hides behind the power of the heartstone gem, but he will not hide forever. My forces pillage this valley until he has no choice but to come and face us. Uh, seems the only one resorting to a coward's tactics is you. Is the Legion truly so desperate? When you feel the black hand of Bane crushing your heart, you will regret those words. When I raise your corpses, I will see that you serve a special place in the ranks of the Legion, and Bane will be pleased as well. All right, if you say so, but... No, let me, let me fight! Let me... Oh, come on! Let me do something! Don't just freeze me! When I see you again, I'll have your corpses carry the banner of the Chimera as they march on the Ten Towns. Yet... Yeah. Don't freaking just freeze me. Here. What do we got here? A white? Yeah, energy drained all over the place. All because they put me in a really awkward spot. And I couldn't even rearrange myself during during the during the uh during the speech. Okay, this is getting stupid. Let's 
try and rearrange ourselves here. Come on. Onto the bridge, everybody. Why did you go down there? Who is this? What? Maria, why the hell did you go down there? Alright. I am by your side. Uh yes. well. What can I tell do you what? For you? Charity, I'm gonna try something. Here. Boom! I should have done that at the very beginning. Yes. Turn undead. I forgot. High level turn undead? Super effective. Okay, who is who is level drained? Okay, so Zyklos is level drained. Zyklos is the only one that got level drained. More work to be done. Let's see. Restoration on him. There you go. I am here. Yes. So first things first, we'll get uh, regeneration on him. Quick save the game. How can I help? No and then we'll task. seek out Isalor, I guess. I'll figure out where I'm at first. Here we go. These uh, these crops would not naturally grow in the spine of the world's harsh environment. Okay, that's good. Archers. We got more of these. Hold on, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. You know what's going on. Go ahead. You know what's happening here, and boom. Ready and willing. I got him. There's a white lord. Make peace with your gods. Come on, take this thing down. Ready. Maybe I need to get that bard song up again. Tell me your needs. I'm listening. I see. Let's take care of this white. You have need. All right. First of all, move these up here. What's up? And then take out these guys. I go and three. And then we'll deal with that white lord. Alright. Let's go down here and deal with the white lord. Wherever he went. How many times... How many how many turn on deads do I have? I forget. All right. Here we go. We got all kinds of people coming around here and come on. Get everybody up in center. Everybody together. Yes. Everybody together and boom. Yes. Indeed. I love that. What is it now? I'm here. I'm here. Can this thing go down already? It. Jesus. Uh, Tell you what, let, let's take out this thing. Go on, take it down. As you wish. And then this one, whatever this is, another white lord. Badly wounded. This is the first one I turn. And this thing, you cannot win. which I had turned before. <laughs> I'm ready. And I've still got two more turn on dead. <laughs> Not bad at all. Come on, what? give me my give me my bard song. Got to get that AC buff and that regeneration going. Ugh. Chasing it down is so, so annoying. Very well. So I get Tell all my people up here. Task. Keep going along the bottom. Just kind of exploring this entire area. Oh, and we got more. This ends now. And you just tell me. Certainly. Move 
around up here and boom. This ends now. I got him. Take the rate down. You'll soon be a feast for the crows. Oh, there's a white lord. Return war off. Oh, I I don't get and I got another energy drain. Once more on Xylus. He just can't keep from being energy drained. Alright. One more archer. There we go. So we got bridges... Oh crap. Let's let's take care of this stuff. And last one. Boom. Oh, Carvos the Black. This one is a actual name. Uh, I'm tired of those guys over there. I'm gonna drop a fireball over there. Boom. Come on, do I need to drop another one over there? Yes, I do. Yes. Boom. Now I am here. Okay, somebody's running. Oh no, I got somebody got feared. It's all falling apart. At your service. What can I do? As best I can. I can summon an elemental. How can I? Ready and willing. And then deal with those. Tell me your needs. I see. Indeed. There we go. Deal with these guys. Basically, clean up, clean up the last of them. All right. Yes. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Borders here. Wait, how come? How can I help? Very well. Alright, this thing's angry at me, but I cannot target it with weapons. Anyway, I just realized what this place was. I am I feel so stupid. This is the the snow covered field in the first one where the ogre was in there. And this is the water mill. Okay. Oh crap. Uh, yeah, Maria, you need to get the hell away. Run, Maria! Is dealing dealing me more damage than the damn undead did. It was worth it though. Ah, oh, heal thyself, Bard. There we go. To the butcher's work there. Take that thing down. Elementals are helpful, but the fact that they turn against you is annoying. Here we go. Take out this last one. And drop this white lord. Boom. All right. Nothing to loot. Let's see if we can't check this tower out. Ah, more undead. I got it. I am ready. Here, deal with, uh... Like, barely any of this is going to matter, but we'll try it. We'll drop a flame strike on this stuff, too. Imperium. 
Boom. Come on, do it, do it. Ah, that flame strike was incredibly limited. You have my attention. I don't have any more uh, turn undeads. Whoops. Yeah, what about uh what about Sunbeam? Oh, I hit my own people, too. Oh, well. Indeed. Still worthwhile. Let's see what you aid. Oh, no. I Move, people. Get away from that sunbeam. I am by your side, as you wish. Apparently it was too bright even for me. So I do need to rest. Uh, let us hope that this tower. Yes, indeed. It yes. is locked. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can I? Oh, can I open it? Yes, I, I can. No small task. Let's try to go inside. F find out what's in here. Whoops. Hold on. I, I'm sorry, I totally skipped that. Uh, what the... Damn it, they've broken into the tower. I knew we should have taken the battle to them instead of hiding in, in here like frightened children. Nathaniel, take out the ones in front. We'll use their bodies to block the door. Now, hold on, we're with Oswald. Don't fire. Jermsey, please. It's the truth. I recognize them. Klaus saved my life within the Ice Temple. Lower your bow and save your arrows for your enemies. So, you're the group of cell swords from the Ten Towns we've heard so much about. Based on Nathaniel's tales, I expected something more. So, have you come to help us or not? Yes, we've come to help you. We'll see. I'm the only I'm the only member of the Cold Heart Militia left in the past. Well, except Nathaniel here. But he doesn't seem to be able to do much more than tell tales about your exploits. I'm Jermsey. I'm in charge here. We've been trapped in this damn tower ever since the Legion priests started raising the dead in Hrothgar's uh, Glen. I wanted to hunt him down, but Nathaniel told, me, told us we should wait for you. You sure took your time getting here. I thought we'd be overrun for sure. We met that priest you mentioned, but he vanished before we could stop him. Do you know where he went? Uh, yeah, I do. The coward's fled back to his cave inside Hrothgar's Glen. It's to the north, past the Great Gate. The bastard's been digging up graves in the Glen, then raising the corpses and sending them to kill anyone they find. Now he's having them tear apart the past, trying to provoke Isolor into leaving the Heartstone Gem. When I realized what he was, where he was striking from, I sealed the gates of the glen, trapping him and some of his Neo-Orog troops inside. I thought it would hold... Well, he seems to have found a way around it, Nathaniel. If the rest of his troops, rest of his troops get, there, get out of there, we're dead. We can barely hold the tower as it is. And that did not escape me, Jermsey. And lower your voice. We're all dealing with this situation as best we can. Is there any way inside the glen? Perhaps I could stop him before he causes any further harm. I could open the gate, if you're sure you can handle them. I do not doubt your capabilities, but I sense a great evil stirring within the glen. I'm not about, not, not sure it all stems for the, the Bainite. There's some other agenda at work, but I know not what. Just open the damn gate, Nathaniel. If, you, if they want to carry the battle to him, then let them. We can't sit here and wait for him to slaughter the rest of us, and Isalor has his hands full of defending the Heartstone Gem from the Yonti. Uh, open the gate, and we will stop this priest. Very well, I shall alter the druidic ward on the gate. It will open for you, but not for that foul priest or his troops. If you choose to challenge the Bainite, we must wipe out his troops as well. Not only must we prevent the legion of knowing of your, of your arrival, but even a single white or undead beast that remains alive will spawn more if slain. If not slain. The Bainite's defeat must be complete. Before entering the glen, however, take care. I worry about what other forces the Bainite may, seeks to raise within the graveyard. And I fear some darker purpose behind his actions. Darker purpose? By the gods, Nathaniel, are you blind or cut off from the town and knee-deep in Kaldahar's dead? Rain your cryptic babbling and either make yourself useful or hold your tongue. You make me wish you'd gone to Kaldahar instead of Gurbash. At, le uh, at least he knows how, uh, how, to, how to use a crossbow. You sent someone to Kaldahar? Yes, we had to, to warn them of the undead. Before, the Archdruid is supposed to be protecting uh, the hearth Hearthstone Gem in the center of town and to east. But we haven't seen him for days, though Nathaniel claims he still lives. Sheemish and old man Conlin are still are probably still there too, but we don't know for sure. We sent Gerbash, the innkeeper of the Evening Shade, out a few nights ago to see if he could warn the rest of town about the undead, or with Tamora's blessing, and perhaps even escape called Har and go for help. But we haven't heard from him since he left. Damn, damn it! I should have gone, not him. 
Even worse, Gorbash was carrying the key to the watchtower. If that fail falls into Yanti hands or the hands of the Bainites of the Glen, you won't be the only visitors coming through the front door. Without this tower, we may as well surrender the pass entirely. Uh, look, if you happen to make your way to Koldahar and back here, let me know if you turn up any sign of Gurbash. If he's alive, there's more fortune to us. If not, then we need that key back, or else we will be joining. If I can, who are Shemish and Gumla? Come. They're father and son, and at last words, they were still in Koldahar. Neither of them is worth a copper in a fight, however. Conlon used to run the town smithy until his senses started to dull around the edges. Shemish was the captain of the Yonti when he was a kid, same time my family was killed by a band of orcs. You'd think he would have left by now, but he stays. Orcs killed your family? Yes, they did. Killed my father and my sister. Right in the mill to the northeast of here. This is the kid that we saved in, in Icewind Dale 1. I hid in the basement during the attack. I heard my family begging for mercy, then listened to the orcs tear apart our home brick by brick looking for gold. Anything else you want to know? I'm more in your loss. Can I ask you something else? What is it? Uh, tell you what, uh, can you watch over here while we rest? I have to keep watch for enemies, not over your sleeping bodies. Ask Nathaniel to do it. It'll make him useful. All right, we'll ask Nathaniel then. For well. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and we'll see more in the next episode. For now, I've been the RPG Crawler with Icewind Dale 2. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content with tabletop and computer. Until next time, take care and goodbye.